Okay, I've got my favorite earrings on, my new favorite necklace on, my Jesus dress, and my favorite scent, and we are ready to take on Dallas. And by we, I mean me and you guys, kind of, together. Okay, let's go. Ha! Yes! Well, hey guys, and welcome to Dallas, Texas. I am here for the next 12 hours or so due to a flight cancellation, and we are gonna make the most of it, which is a huge gift to be able to say that after having food poisoning, which was horrible. Oh my goodness, that was like something out of a comedy movie, but it was there was nothing funny about that. It was really awful. My friend and I got shrimp tacos at a place in Nashville, and we got wrecked. We got real wrecked by those tacos. So needless to say, you know that feeling after being sick when you get your appetite back, and it's such a wonderful thing, but it's something to be treated very lightly because I don't want to go ham with all the food that I want to eat. So I'm stopping here at this Whole Foods to get something very bland, like some chicken and rice. My friend's mom actually made me chicken and rice before I left on my plane, which was so sweet. Such sweet southern hospitality. She's actually starting her own brand called TN Soho. I will link it down below. I had such a wonderful time with my friend and her family. They're all branching off into their new adventures. I'm so excited for them. While I was there, I got to talk with them about their dreams and visions and these different things that they're launching. I'm really stoked for them. So I want to be able to partner with their visions and support them. So definitely go check out TN Soho on Instagram and I will link everything down below. All right, it's time to go get some chicken and rice from Whole Foods. Aw, speaking of Southern hospitality, check this out. I love that. That is so precious. Ooh, look at all the plants. Don't touch it. Oh wow, that one's cool. The blackberry bushel. Can I see Aw, strawberries. Ooh, and blueberries. Blueberries. Ooh, so cool. Ooh, sour. All right, got lunch. It's tasty, but I'm honestly feeling kind of meh after eating, so I've got myself some ginger ale, which is tasting very natural. But uh, anyway, I'm feeling kind of meh, so I'm hoping to find some refuge at the Arboretum, which I hear is absolutely stunning, and I'm really excited to go check it out. So let's go. Well, hey guys, and welcome to the Dallas Arboretum and Botanical Gardens. I just got here and I just realized I should probably get a map because this place is huge. It's like Disneyland, but for gardeners. Goodness, this is so enchanting. Guys, this place is so cool. <laughs> over 230 different kinds of Japanese maple. That's really so, neat. So if you were here a week ago, like the left in front of us were uh, uh, yellow, uh, Siberian irises, and some other those greens. Wow. Very cool. Oh, these leaves are so beautiful. So here you go 
see all the different colors. Yeah. Wow, I've never seen this kind of Japanese yeah. maple before. Two hundred and thirty-five. Wow. Two twenty-nine. That's stunning. These are these are butterfly pavilions. Oh, okay. Is this a form of hydrangea? What is this? Okay. It's, 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 I want to say uh, oak leaf hydrangea. Oak leaf hydrangea. Yeah, I recognize this. It's beautiful. Oh, well, there are some really gorgeous ones as we go down. Wow, look at this little enchanted garden. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, one day I would like a little garden space like this. Sunken garden. The sunken yeah, garden. You'll see on either side is a mobius of kind of like the deep DNA. Felix. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. I've never seen anything like this before. This so is so beautiful. Going backwards. dedicated to the wild side of women, or it appears wild, the creative side. Perfect. A garden just for me. <laughs> so build a women's garden. Okay. And um, here we have another Japanese maple. Wow. Man, you guys, this place is so neat. What is it about being surrounded by lush green trees that makes me feel so alive? 
with a view of the lake, no less. Oh man, this has been such a sweet reprieve for my soul. And you guys, it is hard to capture how beautiful it is here. This has been such a sweet day for me. It's been really fun to share it with you guys as well. I'm currently on the lower level of the grounds which faces the lake and I haven't visited this part yet today and there is a lot to be seen about this part. Every little space and nook and cranny is filled to the brim with glorious little alcoves to sit and just take in nature, which is exactly what I love to do. I think this part might be my favorite part. I don't even know what it's called, but I love it here. According to my friend from earlier, over here is the field where over 3,000 zinnia are planted. I love zinnia so much. Let's go check them out. I hope I'm saying this right, but this was once the Debogier, Debogier, oh, the Golier. This was their driveway. Absolutely stunning. Can you imagine having a driveway like this? Oh, look at this cute little greenhouse and garden. Ooh, they were growing some bush beans here. This looks like dill, I think. Some chard, yummy. Ooh, some cilantro, which looks like it's bolted. Rosemary. Hmm, chives, perhaps? Ooh, look at these. These look like atomic grape tomatoes. Oh, not ripe. Cute little garden next to their restaurant one of like seven restaurants that they have here. Wow. Guys, how cool is this grove? So many trees, it's so awesome. Wow. 
Wow, okay, so now the park is technically closed and as you can see, everybody's gone and I get to enjoy my beautiful pecan grove all by myself. Well, plus with the bunny over here. Oh, it's so beautiful. Welcome to Dealey Plaza. This is known as the birthplace of Dallas. This is also where JFK was assassinated. I'm looking for the exact spot. Oh yeah, there it is. My friend said it was marked with an X and you can see it. It's right over there. So there are a lot of other people here to see the very same thing that I am here to see, which is this. My stomach already hurts, but this kind of just makes it hurt extra. It's really hard for me to think that such a great man was shot here. So I guess there's two X's. That was the first X. This is the second X, which I guess was the final blow. It's right there. It's wild. So mind blowing. Like, if you watch the footage of what happened, it's so mind blowing to be here. When you watch the footage of how he was shot and what happened to his body and then how his wife reacted, oh god, I cannot even imagine. It's hard to see, but I'm glad I got to see it. And on that very somber note, my time here in Dallas has come to a close. Thank you so much for joining me on these adventures. I'm really excited to get back to my fur babies and my hubby and my garden. And I'm excited to see you guys there too. Thanks for being here. So glad you're here and I'll see you soon.